Hello, my friends. I'm Clover, and this is Genuinely Approachable Sudoku. Today we're solving a little bit out of the ordinary, a puzzle by Bill Murphy. I'm standing in for Philip today because he isn't feeling well. And this is called Lightworks. It's a numbered room Sudoku. What that means is that we have normal Sudoku rules, so we're placing the digits one through nine once each in each row, each column, and each outlined three by three region. And in addition to that, we have numbered rooms clues. So if there is a numbered rooms clue, for instance, to the left of a row, then you look at the first digit in that row, the one that's closest to where the clue appears, and that digit tells you where that number shows up in that row. So for instance, this digit that I have highlighted right here has to tell us where nine lives in that row. And because nine is in the eighth position, that's going to be an eight. And on the right side, right here, this is going to have to tell us where 9 lives in this row. But because the clue is on the right side, we're counting from the right side, so 9 is in the second position, so that's going to be a 2. And we actually get to start this puzzle by filling in a lot of these numbered rooms clues just by hunting and packing and finding these digits. So 8 here is in the sixth position from this direction and the fourth from this direction. 9 is in the third position from here and the seventh position from here. 3 is in the 2nd position from here, and the 8th from here. 7 is in the 8th position from here, and the 2nd from here. 5 is in the 7th position from here, and the 3rd from here. 3 is in the 4th position, and the 6th position. 6 is in the 3rd and the 7th position. 8 is in the 3rd and the 7th position, and 9 is in the 8th and the 2nd. And so we really only have these two clues, this 9 and this 7 remaining, and these are going to turn out to be surprisingly resilient. These are going to last a good little while through our solve of the puzzle. So let's do some Sudoku next before we resume. So in this row we need to place a 1, a 5, and a 9, and because we already have 5 and 9 here, we're going to make that a 1, which makes this a 9 and a 5. Similarly here we need a 1, a 5, and a 9. We already have a 1 and 5 in this region, so that's going to be a 9, that's a 1, and that is a 5. To finish this region, we need to place a 1 and a 6. To finish this region, we need a 2 and a 4. To finish this region, we need a 1 and an 8. And for this region, we need a 2 and a 4. The last two digits here are 3 and 7, and we can determine the order because there's a 3 already in row 4. And the last two digits here are 5 and 7. There is already a 5 in the middle, so that's going to be a 7, and that will be a 5. This row is nearly done, so we need a 6 and 7 here, and that is completed because there's a 7 down here already. We need a 3 and 5 to finish this row, and that's going to take care of that. So now let's start working on this 9 clue and this 7 clue. So where does 7 go in this row? It can't go in these two cells because of that 7. It can't go in these two cells because of that 7. So it must go in the middle somewhere, but there are already 7s in these two columns, so 7 goes here with a 6 indexing where it appears. And that makes this a 1-4 pair. And these digits will have to be 2, 8, and 9. And the 9 is going to be a little trickier to place. These are going to be 4, 6, and 9. Now that tells us a couple of things. First of all, this can't be 9 for a couple of reasons. <laughs> if this is a 9, then 9 would have to be in both the 1st position and the ninth position. And also, even if we did put 9 in the ninth position, we already have that pencil marked as 1-4, so that's out. So that can't be a 9. It also tells us this can't be a 9 because 9 can't appear in the 7th position from the clue. I need a 5 in the region. This is the only remaining place I can put it. And then these are going to be 1 and 2. This can't be an 8 because there's an 8 in the row. That can't be a 6 because there is a 6 in the row. I need a 5 in this region. It has to go right here. And then I'll finish off with a 1 and a 4. These are going to be 4, 8, and 9, and because I have 4 and 9 already in column 5, that will be my 8. These are going to be 2 and 6 to finish the column, and because I have a 6 here, that'll be a 2, that is now a 9, that's a 6. And that makes this digit a 4, finally, which tells us where the 9 is going to live. Okay, and it looks like I made an error here at some point. Let's have a little look. Oh, I, okay, I made a mistake placing some 8s. That's not 4, 8, and 9, so I'm just going to back on up and fix that for you guys. Apologies. So that's 
four, six, and nine. That makes this a six. <laughs> and these are going to be two and eight, which resolves like this. That makes a little bit more sense. Okay. That's now a four and a six. So the nine now has to be in the sixth position, making that four, one, and four. That's a nine, and that is a four. This is going to be a six to complete the column. This will be a nine. The one and two is resolved by that two there. And finally, we place a one and a three. And despite the little mistake, we've got ourselves two party hats for a quick time today. That is how you solve Bill Murphy's puzzle, Lightworks. Hope you enjoyed. The link to solve it yourself is in the description below this video. See you next time.